Hi everyone and welcome to Small Business Social, where we're dedicated to helping you discover your own personal business model, as well as simplifying the process of creating, marketing, and growing that business. My name is Jill and I am your host. So today our topic is a little controversial because I know my opinion on this is different than um, kind of the popular opinion out there. And I can sum up my opinion in three words. Don't spam people. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to this channel because every week I'll be posting videos that will help you with your online business or personal brand. So anyone who has read articles on how to connect to people on LinkedIn has probably been told to include a personal message along with your connection request. And I actually agree with that advice if you have something meaningful to say. But so many people are trying to follow protocol and do what they've read is the quote unquote right thing to do. And they'll send a message that's canned, that's essentially spam. And it has no value whatsoever. And it's annoying. And I don't agree with doing that at all. I think in those cases, you're better off just sending the request without anything to go along with it. So let me give you a few examples of what I'm talking about. These are actual messages that clients of mine have received. Would be a pleasure to add you to my personal network on LinkedIn because we both work in digital business. Thanks. I'm looking to grow my connections with like-minded individuals. I would love to connect with you so we can provide value to each other. FYI, that isn't valuable. <laughs> so I think you can see what I'm talking about from the first three. None of these are valuable. Here's a couple more I want to go over with you as well. I came across your profile and noticed that we have common industry connections. Would love to connect here if you're open to it. After reviewing your profile, I'd like to connect. I'm also curious, have you ever considered writing a book? So again, these are essentially spam and um, there's no point in even sending messages like that. If you have something meaningful to say, say it. And if you and the person you're trying to connect with have something legitimate in common, or you know the same person in real life, then it's a great idea to include a personal message along with your connection request. But don't send one saying, hey, you and I are both connected to John Doe, so we should connect. Everybody knows that most people don't know the majority of their LinkedIn connections. So that is not a meaningful message either. And it's not even, it's not even real. It feels phony and, and fake, and it's not a good idea to send. So um, again, I, you know, I skip the messages unless I have something really important to say. And that's my recommendation to you as well. So why do I recommend this? Well, there's two main reasons. The first one is that it is annoying to the person that's receiving that message because they're having to open and read what is essentially spam and it's a total waste of their time. And um, it's clogging up their inbox because that's where that message ends up that you send along with the, uh, the connection request. And now they've also got to spend time clearing out their inbox. There's no point to any of those messages. And again, it just wastes people's time. The other reason I say that is that it will not improve your chances of having the person on the other end accept your connection request. It's almost worse in some ways because it is annoying and pointless and a waste of time. So I know you now you're saying, okay, great, Jill. So what what will help? What's going to help someone connect, uh, accept my connection request? And the answer is an outstanding profile. Your LinkedIn profile needs to be complete and optimized and accurate and done well before you send out a connection request. So the other thing I want to tell you is that there are basically two types of people on LinkedIn. Ones who accept connection requests from people they don't know and ones who don't. And I fall into the first category because, um, you know, if I, if I needed to connect with people that I already know, I can just do that through my email. I don't need to do that through LinkedIn. I've also met a lot of great people and business connections on LinkedIn. 
Now, I do understand why certain people do not accept connection requests from people they don't know, or even open up their account to receive connection requests. And there are people that um, maybe a celebrity or a recruiter for a large company. Now, those people can't. They would be absolutely bombarded with messages and the platform would become useless to them because their message boxes and, and their inboxes would be so um, completely, you know, Full. And I'm not just saying any all this off the cuff or making it up or, or taking a gas. I've actually owned a social media marketing agency for over eight years. And I've worked with clients in multiple fields. And many of them, I actually run their LinkedIn accounts for them. Several of them, I started, built, and grew their LinkedIn accounts. So um, I have a lot of experience on the platform. I'm also a LinkedIn advisor. And um, I think that the information I'm sharing with you is what I have found works the best. So the bottom line, be real. Send only meaningful, useful messages. And don't shy away from connecting to people you don't know. I, to me, that's the whole point of LinkedIn, um, the whole purpose of, of the platform's connection mechanism. So um, make sure before you send your very first connection request that you have optimized your profile, you've completed it, you have filled it in, you've spell checked it, and you've done an amazing job putting it together to the best of your ability. And thank you so much for watching this video. And again, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing below. And I will see you again next week.